Hello guys and welcome to AVK App Reviews. Today we are going to see the review of Fake Nexus ROM for Nexus 5. Everybody wants to have new pixel features on their devices. What if a ROM provides all these new pixel features with stock ROM like experience. So let's check out this fake Nexus ROM for Nexus 5. So first we are going to go into settings and check out the Android version and it's Android 7.1. The build number of the ROM is NDE63V and the build date for the ROM is 8 November. So as always I have tested this ROM with 3 custom kernels. The three custom kernels are Elementor X kernel, Franco kernel and Blue Spark kernel. So I am providing this review after using this ROM for more than two weeks. So the review is divided into four parts. Installation, battery performance, customization options and features and the fourth is final thoughts about this ROM. So let's begin with the installation process. Now the installation process of this ROM is slightly different from other custom ROMs. So first you have to go to this XDA page for fake Nexus ROM. Here you will find the ROM file. GApps are not required as they are present in the ROM file. Now for further process you will require a PC or a laptop with ADB drivers installed. If you don't have ADB drivers, I will post the link for them in the description below. Now copy the ROM file into the ADB folder location. If you are installing this ROM for first time, full wipe is recommended. So before you proceed, you should perform a full backup of your internal storage. Now boot your device into fastboot mode and connect it to your PC. Now open the command prompt at ADB folder location and type fastboot space dash w space update space rom file name dot zip and hit the enter button after the completion of process phone will reboot automatically now this is the official method provided by developer for installing this rom you can find the info about installation process on the rom's xda page now let's move ahead and check out the battery performance of this rom so i have tested this rom with stock kernel and three custom kernels all the stats that you are going to see are taken after minimum 4 charge cycles on each kernel. These stats are based on my normal day to day usage which includes gaming, multimedia consumption, voice calls, internet surfing, social media usage and things like that. So here are the battery stats for stock kernel. Here we got the SOT of 3 hours and 9 minutes. And here are the battery stats for 3 custom kernels. So all 3 kernels work perfectly with this ROM. Just you have to flash the Wi-Fi fix after flashing each kernel. I observed that the battery performance of this ROM is very good as compared to my previous Nougat ROM. One thing I have to mention that I was using the Pixel Live wallpapers while testing the Elementor S kernel and Franco kernel. So you can observe that the SOT is very less compared to the Blue Spark kernel. But you can consider the SOT for these two kernels nearly about 3 hours and 15 minutes. So the battery performance of this ROM is very good. I observe that there is better smoothness with Franco kernel and Blue Spark kernel. Also the Blue Spark kernel got highest SOT of 3 hours and 28 minutes. So in terms of battery performance I found this ROM very good. So my recommended kernel for this ROM is Blue Spark kernel. It will provide you best combination of smoothness and battery performance. Now let's check out the customization options available on this ROM. So as I stated before, fake Nexus ROM provides stock like experience. You will just find system UI tuner in the settings menu. Other than that, there are no customization options on this ROM. It will provide you pure Android Nougat experience. Now in features department, this ROM is loaded with all new pixel features. So this ROM includes pixel launcher, pixel round icons, 
pixel boot animation, pixel ringtones and notification tone, wallpaper picker and all new google phone app and messenger app. Also the settings menu and notification panel has the same blue accents as pixel. Google assistant is not enabled here by default. But you can enable it just by modifying the build prop or by flashing a single zip file. So this ROM will provide you a complete pixel experience. So you may call this ROM as fake pixel ROM. Now in theme department, substratum is not properly working on this ROM. On the latest build, I am getting boot loops after applying substratum theme. So I will suggest to wait till the OMS commits are applied on this ROM. Now it's time for my final thoughts about the fake Nexus ROM. So I am gonna divide this into pros and cons for this ROM. So let's begin with the pros of this ROM. First thing is performance. The ROM is very good in terms of performance. It performs smooth in daily operations. Gaming and multi window work perfectly. It just feels very smooth and fluid experience. Then the next is better battery life. I observe better battery performance on this ROM as compared to my previous Nougat ROM. I was getting nearly same battery stats as some of the good old Marshmallow ROMs. Then the next is all new pixel features. The ROM provides seamless combination of pixel features with the stock experience. And having these features inbuilt saves some work of flashing different zip files. Then next is pure stock experience. I would say I feel like this ROM is the official build of Android 7.1 for Nexus 5. This ROM feels very similar to official Google stock builds. Now let's move towards the con part. It is very hard to find any negative point for this ROM, but here are some of them. So the first is frame drops in video recording with Google Camera. As I mentioned in my previous video, I love Google Camera app. But video recording on this app is broken on this ROM also. I observed some frame drops on the recorded video. So the workaround for this bug is using third party camera apps like Open Camera. Then the next is broken Substratum support. Substratum theme was somewhat working till the November 3 build. But on the November 8 build, I got the boot loop after applying Substratum themes. That's a bit of a disappointment for me as I am a big fan of Substratum themes. So these are the only two negative points I could point out in this ROM. I like this ROM very much and I would suggest every Nexus 5 user should try this ROM. You will really enjoy the experience. So with this, I am gonna wrap my review of fake Nexus ROM aka fake pixel ROM. So what do you think about this ROM? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like this video, hit the like button below and share this video. Subscribe to my channel for more such video. You can follow me on Google+, Twitter and Facebook. Thank you for watching my video. I will see you in my next video.